Anime is for queers. Manga too. It's for emotionally stunted creeps and pedophiles. But sometimes, sometimes it's for total chads like myself. Case in point, Akira by Katsuhiro Otomo. Uh, before diving into the manga, which I just finished yesterday, I want to talk a little bit about the anime. In my opinion, the superior anime. Uh, my experience, my limited experience with with anime in recent years. You know, as, as a kid, I was big into Pokemon and, and Dragon Ball Z, as a lot of people are. But I don't know if that counts as much. But uh, my experience with manga is it's a lot of bloated, over-emotional, uh, I don't just sort of bizarre, uh, arrested development type media with some occasionally cool fight scenes and art styles. You know, the occasional art style that ventures outside of the the norm. A lot of a lot of manga is also sort of samey to me. It all it all has a very derivative style. Um but Akira the film is a real it's a it's a real sharp uh aesthetically potent piece of art. I, I really I really like the anime. The colors, the soundtrack, the character design, the, the baller ass motorcycles and the, the, the cool red leather jackets and the general vibe. The Akira vibe is just one that I'm I, I really appreciate in the film. It's got none of that none of that bloat of a of a TV show. I think I think all anime should just be movies. None of this stretching it out to uh, you know a thousand million episodes. So when I when I got the manga, I I guess I was sort of expecting some of the same. I was expecting something uh, sharp and potent and. Uh, I, it was a bit of a letdown as it went as it went on. I maybe not a letdown, but just a sort of differing expectations. I guess I I had different expectations, and it and it came with uh with something different. So got this big flipping box set. It's it's a good it's a real good box set. If if it's something you wanted to check out, if you wanted to. Uh, I don't know. It, it was it was a little pricey, but at the same time, it was about the equivalent of what I would have paid getting all the books one at a time. How do I open this fucking thing? Okay, so it comes with these nice uh, hardbacks, and then there's a, a an art book that's in the the next room, so I don't have that here. So it, this is a this is a this thing's a brick. It weighs at least fifty tons, fifty tons of of Akira. But uh, I should have I should have known right off the bat that it was you know because it's this many volumes that it was going to uh, not be as concise as the anime. So the first volume, uh, the 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 film in the this first volume probably have the uh, strictest alignment. I think the the film probably takes the most from this book, like. As far as the tone and the mood, like you got the basically the first scene in the film, you know, the biker gangs are getting in a fight. So you got that. A lot of the setup is is pretty much the same. Uh the art the art is great across the board. I think the guy had a background in animation, and it wouldn't surprise me if he did, because a lot of the stuff is just real consistent. You know, sometimes things will go off model in other books which means like you know a character just i don't know it just doesn't look right but here everything just is very coherent there's no lazy panels there's no lazy no lazy brush strokes no lazy movement the movement is all very expressive and, and full of emotion the movement and the facial expressions it's really surprising if you if you take a look at any 
modern American comic books, uh, nothing has the same level of consistent emotional impact and the sense that the creator is consistently doing their best. Um, you always get the sense that people in America are trying to cut corners, whereas you get the sense with this guy that he's never cut a, cut a corner in his flipping life. So anyway... Finished uh, volume one, you know, I'm into it. Uh, but as I progressed through these other volumes, as it got to two and three and four and five, the story really starts to uh, decompress into a bunch of other extra stuff that has that same sense of bloat. So like... About a year ago, I watched Death Note, and I really enjoyed maybe the first 15, 20 episodes, and then it just dragged its heels forever and went on all these weird tangents, and I was a little disappointed that Akira started to do that, and as it did do that, as it kept um, stretching itself, it it seemed to take on more of that typical sort of I don't know the, what you typically think of when you think of an anime sort of the uh, the uh, the the childishness and the um, the sort of that style of Japanese humor where characters are always sort of yelling and running around in uh, like sort of slapstick fashion uh, it started to take on some of that vibe and it's sort of steered away from what I uh, remember of the movie the kind of the, the, the darkness and the uh, the foreboding of the film it sort of gets away from that and sort of gets dips into the the more um, free-spirited cartoony nature which I guess isn't necessarily bad but um I, I think on the on some sense I'm being uh, unfair to the manga because you know having um, I don't know does does something that came first does the artist's initial vision should it get more respect as the source material than than the adaptation I think most of the time probably probably. But uh, so in that sense, it's probably unfair to judge this in comparison to the film. Like if the film never existed, I would maybe be more uh, generous, I guess, in my opinion. But um, I don't know. I was really looking forward to sort of the the cool, the coolness. Akira, Akira, when you think of Akira, you think of just just cool. There's not many things that are legitimately cool like leather jacket and sunglasses cigarette behind the ear type of cool uh, you know most things they just come across as as forced but akira has always sort of had a natural uh, uh cool cool factor look at him he's riding with his hands crossed you know he's riding no hands look at it no hands it's cool um and this does has that this may, the the books do have that, but it's not again. It's not as it's not as focused, I guess. the 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 anime is focused. It sort of distills and focuses what is best about the books into a uh, nice nice uh, two hour sub two hour uh, uh, thing, and this is is sort of more exploratory, I guess. Um, it's interesting because towards the end. It sort of circles back to that uh, to that same vibe towards a sort of anarchistic spirit. Back when back when anarchy was cool, when you could imagine that anarchy would be fun, and not how fucking lame it is in actuality today. A bunch of no, we won't get into that. We won't get into that. But when 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 you used to be have when anarchism sort of had a. Uh, innocence and a sort of appeal you know you're just a, a group of ragtag 
bikers, you know, living by your wits. You don't answer to Johnny Law, no how. He doesn't answer to Johnny Law. Um, so it, it sort of circles back to that at the end, but uh, it takes a while to get there, I guess. There's a lot of, yeah. All right, I have probably said enough. Goodbye.